Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one and it's a short fat milk carton. And actually this is inspired by a real milk jug that I saw on Pinterest. Um, I pin an awful lot of stuff. I look at homewares, I look at things for the children as well as creative projects. And I'd been looking at stuff for my bathroom, bizarrely, or rather bizarrely, up popped a milk jug. But you know, milk jugs, bathrooms, why not? Anyway, I loved the look of the milk jug and it was actually a white one with this beautiful blue floral pattern on it and I wanted to use that as inspiration. So that's why I've come up with a short fat one which I happily discovered houses two jumbo tea lights. So you can see looking down, I'm not going to open the box, I'd never get it closed again or not without, without half an hour of fiddling. So that was a nice happy discovery. And then dimensions, two and a half inches by two and a half inches by two inches to that point, which is um, five by five. Sorry, it's not, it's five centimeters that way, six and a half that way and that way. And it's a good size. So this one is Knight of Navy with the beautiful floral boutique paper. I'm gonna use some more of the paper, but I am aware that Knight of Navy doesn't show up so well when I'm scoring. So I'm using a white cardstock. So I'm using our Thick Whisper White. Okay, so. And yeah, can you, can you hear that? It's like a wobble board. Um, yeah, so 10 and a half inches by six and a quarter inches, which is 27 by 16 centimeters. Okay, so on the long side, we're gonna score it at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and 10 inches, which in metric is six and a half, 13, 19 and a half, and 26. And then we're gonna turn it round and we're going to score, oh no, we need to mark it as well, I'm sorry. We need to mark it at one and a quarter, just mark, and six and a quarter, which is three and a quarter centimetres and 16 and a quarter. Yes, yeah, six, yes, and 16 and a quarter centimetres. God, that was hard work, wasn't it? Okay, so with those marks on the right hand side, we're going to score here at two and a half inches four and a half inches and then we're going to turn the paper over and score it at five and three quarters of an inch and in metric that is six and a half eleven and a half turn it over and score it at 15 and the reason we turn it over is so that we get this nice crisp top to the box there so hopefully on whisper white you can see better i don't know that you can actually it's quite a nice sunny day today Okay, so let's fold these score lines. You could make this with our regular Whisper White. I like thick Whisper White because it's going to be holding um, heavy candles. They do have a little bit of weight to them. And fold up these score lines. So you've got two that are following in the same direction as your horizontal line, as your vertical lines, but this one here. So with the folding like that, this is going to come back the opposite way. Okay, and then these lines here, these marks, take them down to that line, down to there, and then we're going to join them up. So I'm going to grab my ruler, we're going to join that one to this point here, and that's going to create this perfect triangular piece here. So... So hopefully, you can see that, like I said, I'm not sure that Whisper White's necessarily any better than <laughs> Knight of Navy. But, um, yeah. I wonder what the perfect colour is to film in. I'm not so sure. Okay, don't worry about folding those. Those will naturally come together when we build up the box. So that's the top. This is the bottom. We're going to cut down these score lines to separate the base and I've kept these at the full two and a half inches I could have made this slightly smaller um, to, and then you would have well the bottom of the box is sealed all the way across if I'd made them narrower it would have been okay it wouldn't have been a full seal but I just wanted the extra strength um, and I might not have got that so 
having it all the way around is a much better idea. Okay, my panels that I've got here, so you can see this pretty paper. I love it. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Um, these measure, what do they measure? They measure two and a quarter by one and three quarters of an inch, which is six by four and a half centimetres. And I want the, the this floral pattern out. So grab my snail. So four of those and they're all going to run along the middle. And actually this one is a bit more reminiscent of the of the milk jug that I saw on Pinterest because it was a blue pattern on a white jug. But you know, it's inspiration, it's not recreation. There we go. Right, now we can seal it all up. So I'm going to run some adhesive down there. This is my fuse. That's sealed. This is the back of the box here. So bring in your sides and the back. And then adhesive along there. Okay, so that's the front of the box. A couple of candles in there nicely. And then when you push, those triangles form together perfectly. So you get this nice little short, slightly squat top to your box, which is really cute. So I'm gonna grab my crocodile and with the smaller hole, I'm just gonna punch a couple of holes in. That's the front again. There's the front of my box. So I've got my baker's twine, the Knight of Navy. And <laughs> I've got a wispy end. No, it's not. It's a bit of cardstock in the way. No, I definitely have a wispy end. Oh, for goodness sake, this is just going to be painful, isn't it? Let's just grab a darning needle. Good job I have all these things things handy, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> it's gonna hurt, isn't it? This is why I don't sew. Because I can't even thread a needle. <laughs> it really is painful, isn't it? Okay, let's... Maybe I should have prepped this bit first. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's... Uh, much easier isn't it less painful for you to watch okay and i did have a couple of pegs around actually that i could hold this shut but i haven't got them so not that we haven't got pegs anymore so but i did keep a couple for this very reason but i can't find them so i'm going to grab some little mini bulldog clips and what i want to do is try and get this sealed as tightly as possible okay so, oh, <laughs> just undone it. Oh, I've got fumbly fingers today, haven't I? Oh, I don't know what's going on. So, there we go. That's my little bow, and it is going to open very up a little bit, but only marginally. So it's still quite short and squat, which is the effect I wanted. And then to finish, I've got um, my piece of cardstock, which is going to be my panel, and that measures one by two and a quarter inches, which is I don't know. I didn't write it down in metric. What's that going to be? Not sure, I'll make sure I get it written down. And then I'm taking the Butterfly Basics because the sentiment I wanted was the one that says sending wishes your way. It just felt like it went. Does that make sense? It just felt like it was the right sentiment to have on there. And I wanted photopolymer so I could see what I was doing as well. So I'm just bringing this down closer for me to see. Pushing it off to the left hand side. And then I can put my beautiful enamel shapes on there. 
and if you haven't seen the enamel shapes you get all 10 colours of uh, Regals, Brights or Neutrals per pack and then you get 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, yeah I couldn't, couldn't count then, 20 shapes on there so you get five small dots, five big dots, five hearts and five stars, brilliant, total bargain, so let's have, have a couple of big dots at the bottom and a little, a littler, a smaller one up there, a couple of dimensionals on the back. And then that will fit beautifully in there with a nice border. What do you think? Cute, huh? Inspired by a milk jug. I take inspiration for it everywhere. So anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. And I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.